In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a complete beginner's guide to system.io. It's basically an all-in-one marketing platform where you can create funnels, you can use it for marketing emails, you can build websites. I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know about how to get started. Now, if you want to go ahead and start using it, there's gonna be a link down below. If you click that link, it's gonna give you the best pricing and it's also gonna give you a free trial. So go ahead and click the link down below and it'll take you to this page here. So just put your email in and you're gonna go ahead and get a free account. Once you've signed up, the dashboard will look something like this. And I'm gonna show you what to do from here. Now, first things first, we have our dashboard, we have our main dashboard, affiliate dashboard here. So this is for any people that you refer over. We have our student dashboard, so this is for um, different courses and stuff. Uh, where you can basically go through there and they'll have a lot of courses on how to do different things. And then over here we have our marketplace. So our marketplace here is different things um, that people are offering. So different courses, stuff like that. Now, after that, we're going to go over here to the contact section. And in the contact section, this is all of our contacts that we have from our funnels and that kind of thing. So we can either create a contact manually or we can get them to sign up here for a funnel. If we press contact here, it just asks for stuff like their first name, their email, um, just stuff like that. And you can even add a custom tag here. You can put the name and you can put the unique key in here. Uh, and this is just basically where you keep your customers all organized. Now we also have the tags bit here so you can create some tags so you can uh, sort your customers. Now the bit everyone's looking for is gonna start off with the funnels. So I'm gonna show you how to create a funnel now. So first of all, we want to go ahead and click on the create button and then it's going to ask us for the name of the funnel. I'm just going to type in funnel one and we're going to, it's going to ask the goal of the funnel. So we can either build an audience. So that is going to be things like collecting an email address or we have sell a product or service. There's the custom option where you can create it from scratch or there is the webinar funnel. Now I'm going to start off with the build an audience one um, and I might look at this one later. And then it's going to ask us for the domain. The domain will basically be, um, you can put anything in there, but it's going to be a dot system dot IO one here. And uh, we can change this and I'll show you how to do this in a bit. We can change this to a custom domain. So we're going to go down here to currency and put the currency in that you want. I'm just going to leave it as Euro for me. And you see the funnel has been created. So we can go ahead and we can click into it here and you've got a few options, view, duplicate, share, deactivate settings and delete. But we can click on it here and we're going to go ahead and actually be in the uh, funnel builder itself. So first of all, we have this thing called a squeeze page. And this is going to be getting people interested in what you've got. Now, first things first, we can start off with selecting a template here. And I'm just going to start with this one here. I'm going to click select template. So it's going to ask us for the name of it. I'm just going to leave it a squeeze page. Um, the path is going to be here. You can change the path URL here. And then we can go over here to edit page. So this is going to be the page editor um, itself. And what we can do here is we can go ahead and uh, edit all the stuff in here very easily. So there will be some stuff in here already, text, images, that kind of thing. We can just click on any of the boxes here. And we go ahead and change all the settings on the left. So we've got the font size, the line height, uh, the font type. We've got the colors, the padding, margin, all of that kind of stuff here. We also have other things like our um, headlines, our text, and then we have our input form here. Uh, again, it has all the sort of same features. We have some buttons here, um, and then it has some settings, you know, what you want to do when the button's clicked, all that kind of stuff. But they kind of designed this app to be very, very simple to use, so we can just click on a button there and uh, see how it all works. We've also got uh, some padding there, all that kind of stuff. Now, we also have these things called elements, and the elements we can just simply drag in. And these are elements themselves, but we can add in new ones. So we can add text ones, we can add media ones, we can add layouts, forms, socials, and other. So I could go ahead here, I could click and I could drag in an image. It's going to leave that as the template, and then I can click on here and I can add an image. And I've just gone ahead and uploaded this image here, and you can see the image is now here looking good. All these little boxes where they have this little image placeholder, you're going to want to click on it and change the image. Um, you've got a load of other information here that you can go ahead and edit. Now they also have this section called blocks, and essentially a block is things like your 
Well, th these are pre-made blocks essentially, but then you've got your opt-in forms here. So you can just click and we can just drag this in here and that will go there. But they have opt-in, uh, they have blocks for lots of things. So like features, uh, footers, presentations of team, welcome, pricing plans. So these are basically just helpful, meaning you don't have to design it all from scratch. You can just find one that you like, drag it in and you can see it looks good, ready to go, just like that. So once you're happy with that, we can go ahead and press the save changes button. And it should take a second and it should be ready to go. We can press this button here, which says preview. And this will allow us to preview what the funnel is looking like right now. And you can see that this actually looks pretty good. Uh, it looks a lot different than on here. And that's because uh, a lot of these images and stuff haven't loaded in. We've also got this thing called pop up. So we can add a pop up here. We might want to add a um, sign up form pop up. Uh, this you can just add this here and then you've got some things like rules so when does it show up um, does it want to be pop or does it want to come up automatically that kind of stuff so we can go ahead and we can save that there that's ready to go and lastly we have our settings here this is just general settings for the page we've got our fonts uh, sizing colors that kind of thing so now once we've gone back we've got we've got uh, this bit here so we can go over here to automation rules so we can add some automation rules um, these are the triggers here so when someone has subscribed or when a page has been visited we can add those we can do split testing so we can go ahead and we can um, choose a variant so we can basically create another page and then split test between that and the original squeeze page to see which has a better conversion rate um, you can select if you want to check the click-through rate that kind of thing we've got our stats here so we can see the conversion rate of the page itself we've got the leads the sales and the deadline settings now next we're going to go over to this one here. This is the next step in our funnel. So you can see this is step one, step two. Now this is going to be the thank you page. Uh, I'm just going to pick this one here, select. And it's going to be the same process here. I can just go ahead and press edit page. And um, yeah, that's ready to go. We can add links to this button if we want to. And we can just save that, press exit once we're happy with how it all looks. Now we can also add another step here. Um, just call it something. And then we can go ahead and choose what kind of step we want it to be. So we've got opt-in stuff, we've got sales pages, we've got upsells, we've got webinar forms, info page. So if we want to send an upsell, we could do that. And it's going to give us some templates again. We can go ahead and, for example, add this to our order. We can select the product type. Is it digital or physical? We can go ahead and add the product here. Um, we can add the resources here. We can select the resource and put it in here. And we can even add pricing plans as well. But I'll show you a bit more about pricing in a minute. But again, this upsell here is just going to be simple to edit. Uh, this is going to be, uh, would you like to add this extra product to your order? Um, so pretty simple to actually set up there. Again, at the top, we just have the funnel settings. Um, just some simple settings here. And we have marketplace offer. So we can go ahead and uh, put that in here like that. Now next up on the list we have the email section. So we have newsletters, campaigns and statistics. So a newsletter, I'm going to press create here and we can basically create a one-time newsletter. I'll just put a subject line in here, uh, welcome, I'll put a sender name. And then we've got visual editor or classic editor. I would recommend going for the visual one, it's going to be easier to use. So just select a template, press save and we should be good, ready to go. Now. They've just given me an error here. To send emails from this email, you need to authenticate this domain. So to go ahead and do that, we're gonna be going over to our settings. Once we're inside settings, we want to go over to the emails section here, and we want to go ahead and we're gonna add our email in here. So click here to confirm your email address, put the email address in, and now it should send you some information to your email so you can go ahead and verify it. Now, while we're here, I'll also show you about domain names. So um, we can add a domain in here if we want to. Uh, or we can go over to the domain section, which is in here somewhere. Custom domains there. And we go ahead and we can press, press add domain here. We can put in our domain um, in here. And then it's basically going to get us to go ahead and um, sort of set it all up. Authorize the DNS settings, you know, sort all that stuff out. And then we should have custom domains ready to go uh, for our funnels and stuff. Inside of the emails bit though, we can do the newsletters, we can do the campaigns. 
And then we have our statistics here. So we have things like the number of emails sent, the percent of people who have opened it, um, spam, bounce rate, all of that kind of stuff, just the general sort of details that you have inside of here. Next up, we're gonna have our blogs. So we can actually use this to create blog posts, which is really useful, especially for SEO and that kind of thing. So we can just put a title in there, anything, and then we can go ahead and press save. And this is gonna open up the um, blog section. So we can go onto our blog here, click on it. And now we can actually look at what's inside our blog. So we have our blog posts here, first of all. We have things like top places in China. This is a blog post that's pre-written by them. Um, we can go in and edit this just by clicking on it. And the editor is the same as the uh, funnel editor. Very similar, just, you, know, you can just click on all the different bits of text. Um, you can just yeah edit it very simply. And when we're ready, we can go ahead and save it. And we can go back here, just like that. Now we can create one from fresh over here and uh, we can select the categories, that kind of thing. We've got our pages here, so this is gonna be the pages on our blog and then the categories are gonna be here. Now we have our blog layout here, so um, we can basically create custom blog layouts for this, um, just so it's sort of a default template that it has it every time. Next up we have our automations here. So we have the rules and the workflows. So if I show you some rules, we can create one here and then we're gonna have a trigger. So the trigger is going to be what triggers the uh, automation. So things like tag added, tag removed, uh, when someone subscribes on a form, a blog, when someone registers to a webinar, when someone enrolls in a course, when you get a sale, there's so many different triggers we can use. But let's say when somebody enrolls in a, or registers to a webinar, and we can select the webinar we want them to register to, and then we can do the action then and for example we could send them an email so we could send them an email saying thank you here's the details for it and maybe we could do an upsell or something like that uh, but there's tons of different things we can do here and these are super useful maybe we can enroll them in a course when they sign up for something maybe it's a free course um, funnel or something like that we've also got the workflows here which basically work in the same way um, We've got the trigger, so we can add a trigger here. We've got action, decision or delay. We'll start off an action. So let's say something's happened here. Um, we can go ahead and add that as a trigger and then we can also have um, other steps here. So we can have a decision, so uh, filters and stuff like that. And then we can have a delay here so we can wait a certain amount of time before going on to the next one. And it's basically just a more in-depth way of doing your rules. So it's pretty cool to use. Now over here we have the product section. Pretty self-explanatory. We've got our physical products. We can just add them in here. We've got the name, description, uh, pricing, media, so photos. We have our orders over here. We have our coupons so we can create coupon codes. We have our courses so we can actually create courses within here as well. Pretty cool. And we have our community as well, which is pretty cool. Next up, we have our transactions. So we've got stuff like, this will be our transactions for every single purchase that we've had on our store. We've got our subscriptions. It will show us our monthly revenue, that kind of thing. We have our affiliate invoices. And then we have my affiliate program as well. Now, lastly over here, we have just the settings that I showed you earlier. We've got our profile, our account, our plan. We've got payment gateways. So we can connect our payment gateways. Uh, these are pretty simple ones. We can just connect them up so we can actually accept payments. We've got manage my subscriptions, emails, we went through that. We've got our courses, payments page. So when they pay, you've got your payment stuff here. Our funnels, our funnel stuff. So we can put our UTM tracking codes in here if we want to. Uh, affiliate program, custom domains, uh, public API keys. So we can create those if we need API keys for anything. We've got our web hooks. So if we have any reason to have web hooks, for example, if we have a new sale, we have our active campaign integration where we can put the API keys from there into here. Uh, notification, then we have our workspace. So we can basically go ahead and invite members to join here and uh, it just allows them to work on the system as well. Lastly, we have our security, so that's just stuff like password. Now, one more thing is I want to look at the pricing plans. You have a free, um, a free plan here, so it's zero a month. And you do get some basic things in here. Uh, but as you go up, you're going to get more things. So you're going to get more contacts. You're going to get um, more blogs, more courses, more products. Here you're going to get webinars, and up here you get unlimited. Now, the pricing is very, very good. If you were comparing this to something like ClickFunnels, 
ClickFunnels is so much more expensive, so this is way better in my opinion. But that is basically a beginner's guide to system.io. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you haven't already, use the link down below to sign up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.